In the spacious grounds of Middleton Towers in Norfolk, a motorcycle grass track was recently opened, and to perform the opening ceremony came George Formby and his wife, Beryl. Out nice again, said George, as indeed it had for the crowds who, when the introductions were over, were treated to George's favorite parrot story, which was about a chap walking down the street when he heard a voice say, Ee, I know thee, and turning round he saw a parrot sitting outside a shop. And as he always wanted a talking parrot, he went in to see if he could bite. But the owner said, Nay, but well, let George tell it himself. You can have like pegs and go up north and hatches, and when it comes out, it'll talk just as well as this one does. Well, he got the egg and he went home and he hatched it, and 12 months later, he was going back to London. He happened to pass the same shop with the same parrot outside the door, and as he walked past, the parrot said, <laughs> I know thee. The fellow said, I, and I know thee too, thy husband was a duck. <laughs> the problems of married life are discussed with the oldest inhabitant. Because Mr. Gruyet, you're 74, aren't you? Yes. Then you've been married 50 you. years. <laughs> <laughs> you've been married exactly 25 years long. I've been married 25 years. You know? <laughs> I've been married 50 have years. Been, we have our silver wedding on the 13th of September this year. 13 on the Friday. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is you've got nine children. I've only three dogs. <laughs> 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 but I can assure you that it's a great pleasure. And if I look as well as you do at 74, I'll thank me lucky star. <laughs> and I hope you live to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> the event having been officially declared open, the crowds accompanied George and Beryl in the blazing sunshine of a perfect summer day to the track where the riders were busily preparing for the battles to come. Running an expert eye over a bike, George is overcome by an irresistible urge, and an expectant crowd see him suddenly throw a leg over the saddle, and he's off. George wasn't even challenged as he roared round the track, and established such a lead that he walked the last lap, saved petrol, and finished up the easiest winner of the day. Receiving the prize he had so bravely earned, George suitably dealt with it, and like all good boys at a fete, was given a flag, in fact several flags, and spent the afternoon waving them at the riders. Down goes the flag, and they're off. Golly, that was a nasty one. Hood spills add to the excitement as the riders go hurtling round the track.
General then came forward to present the cup. Well, Chip, here you are. Thank you very much. Believe me, it, it gives me great pleasure yeah. to give you this. Thank and you I really much. wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you very now, what much. are you going to do with this? It goes inside. <laughs> I'll give it to my wee laddie. <laughs> oh, you're going to give it to your wee laddie. Very yeah. nice, too. Thank you're you going to have much. a nice drink out yeah. there. Yeah. Lovely. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. And look what we've got coming over here. <laughs> very nice. Isn't that lovely? Very nice. Bobby, from this, which is from Middleton. All right, now, will you just wait a minute? And there you are, with my love. Thank you. Would you like one, too, Thank sir? you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, George. A final word. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be featured in this film. I believe it's the first one of its kind that's been produced on 16 millimeter, especially for a rural... Did I say that right? Rural. <laughs> rural districts and I'd like to take this opportunity of wishing the producers and the sponsors of it the best of luck because it's a new thing and everybody has to have a start but we've had a good day to start it with because it's really turned out nice again hasn't it now I think you'd like to hear the old woman say a few words where are you missus come here I'm here George as you say the weather's very nice mm -hmm. beautiful weather lots of nice weather to come too <laughs> is that so yeah all next week's never been touched yet I was wondering if you say something to the folks. Well, I think I would also like to wish them the best of luck with their new venture. As you say, it's something that's new and something that's going to be very nice. And it's going to go round to a lot of little tiny places that probably would never have the pleasure of seeing a larger film. And I think it is a very good idea. Do I you? think they're a clever lot of lads that started this. They've got me and you working for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheerio, old folks, and the best of luck. Cheerio. <laughs>